This is Unit 9, part of the Buenos Aires Provincial Penitentiary Service. Located outside the Argentinian capital, it's a forbidding place. 1,200 prisoners are locked away in this maximum security institution. Three years ago, three inmates here were talking about their youth and realized they'd all played rugby as teenagers. And that's when an idea came to them. It was a really special moment that we will never forget because we looked at each other and we said, why don't we start up a rugby team here? There are 1,200 people. Some must have played rugby, others won't have. But why don't we try to set something up? Because we know rugby, we know its values and what it stands for. So we proposed it as a project to take forward. The plan won the backing of the prison authorities and soon there was a regular group of 25 inmates taking part in training sessions inside Unit 9. There are lots of guys who've never played rugby before and those of us who have played the game are trying to share what it means to play rugby, to go out on the pitch and also to take part in the third half after the match. And since we set up this club, we've seen lots of changes in many different people. Doing this for our friends and for ourselves too gives us self-respect and self-worth and also the desire to move on with our lives. They're now known as Phoenix Rugby Club, a reference to the mythological bird that rises from the ashes to start a new life. And the authorities have noticed a significant impact on those taking part. Friendship, unity, respect for others, how they treat people. I have seen the way in which violence has no place for these guys anymore. It's a sport which is all about respect for others. And from my point of view, I didn't really know anything about rugby before this, but I do know something about it now. Today, Phoenix face their biggest challenge yet, in rugby at any rate. 21 inmates, two prison officers, one computer studies teacher and a PE instructor make up the match day squad from Unit 9, playing their first ever competitive fixture. Today is a very special day for us because it's a day we've dreamed of for a long time. It's a project that has progressed now to such an extent that we're becoming the first team in the world from a prison to play a game of rugby outside, outside of their, of their establishment. On a day of high emotion for all the team, they were each accompanied everywhere by a chaperone. The security was not just for show because these men are no saints. Crespo is serving a 21-year sentence for murder although his conviction is currently under appeal. Winning permission for the match to take place at all was a difficult process. One of the men responsible is a public defence lawyer who's represented several inmates at the unit. As rugby players, they are new men, and the idea is that they should begin a new path, so they become new men inside too. And by that I mean inside themselves, not inside prison where they are right now. I've been working in the justice system for many years now, and reintegrating people into society is a constant preoccupation for me. So it's great to be able to combine that with what I most enjoy doing, which is playing rugby. Bajada was a member of the opposition team, Platenses Gagas, a veteran side from the city of La Plata, for this historic match. The Buenos Aires Rugby Union also supports Phoenix, helping with coaching and supplying equipment and the team jerseys. For some of the players from Unit 9, this was their first proper game of rugby, and fittingly, Leonardo scored the opening try. Phoenix have to earn the right to play by their good behaviour inside prison. The youngest member of the squad is 20, the oldest 55. They train twice a week, but that's no guarantee of match fitness, even against a team of veterans. 
A measure of the project's success is that rugby has already been introduced to three other prisons in the region. Phoenix lost narrowly on the day, but it was no less of a triumph for that. I'm very proud of all of you. I feel fantastic about being able to take part alongside you all today. It's the best experience in my whole life as a referee. There was also a rare privilege for the players, as they were allowed to meet up with their families away from the unit. Just being here is beautiful. To be able to enjoy getting out of prison, to be here, to play, and to take advantage of this whole opportunity. For Leonardo, it was the culmination of three years' hard work, and the sense of satisfaction and fulfilment was obvious. To see so many people cheering and happy for us, to see our families alongside us somewhere outside the unit. The truth is, it's just amazing, and tonight there's no way I'll be able to sleep. I just never want today to end.